Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video I will show you how to let this H32 bit relay controller integrate with Node Red by MQTT. We have used the network cable connected with the relay controller, and this is the power for DC 12 volts. And we have set the controller for MQTT work mode. Now let's look at how this works. You can see this is a very easy demo source code of the node red. Just uh, uh, two nodes. Uh, this is for MQTT out, uh, this node, and this MQTT in. So this is a demo like Hello World. I just tell you how to control the relay one on and off. So you will understand the principle of the MQTT control way. Before you use the controller for the MQTT, you need to set uh, this website uh, for the relay controller h 32 b You have used the network setting. Because we have used the Ethernet, this cable uh, used by MQTT, I suggest you use Ethernet, uh, not to use the Wi-Fi. Ethernet is more stable than Wi-Fi. And you can set the work mode for MQTT. And this is the server IP and the server port. This server means the block, the MQTT block. I have installed on the Windows PC. Maybe you have running the Raspberry Pi for the block uh, mosquito. And also you install the Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. Because I take the video in, in my house. So I use the Windows PC. You can see I have installed the mosquito uh, on the Windows uh, Disk C. I just double click this file. I will start like this window. I know anything. Uh, I don't understand why I know anything displayed. But this is running for the mosquito for MQTT block. So you just uh, double click. And uh, you, if you're running Raspberry Pi, uh, you can also uh, enable the mosquito. And then you can set this IP and the port. Uh, this is my computer IP and the port. And this is MQTT block, uh, username and the password. Okay, uh, this is the board you have set. Then just you can press the save. Uh, the controller will restart. Uh, I have already set this information. So you can see we will directly to use the node red. Before we use the node red, we just find out the network and the MQTT out and the MQTT in. These two nodes. The MQTT out is connect MQTT block and publish message. This is for controller on and off. This MQTT in, that means MQ receive the MQTT information uh, from the spe specific topic. So this is used for read the input state, uh, read, read the uh, state of the relay uh, for update uh, icon. So this is for country relay, and this is for relay state, uh, read relay state. So we can uh, place this node. I just double click, and you can see the server. We can edit. This is server IP you can input. Just in my computer IP, and this is the part. This is my computer broker part. And also you can click the security. And this is MQTT username and the password. Uh, just like this setting. Uh, just this MQTT username and the password. And we just click the update. And this is the topic. This topic is for the command for control relay. Uh, you can see our website, and this is Knowledge and the Home Assistant. Then you will find the article of the MQTT integrated with H32B. And you can find the topic. Uh, this is the command topic. And this is the state topic. So you can see this topic command is consistent with the relay 32. And this XXX is the ID. This ID you can find uh, in this UID, uh, is this one. And uh, the set is fixed. So you need just only replace this ID for your controller. So we can see in Node-RED, uh, this topic 
is 32 and this is set uh, this is not changed just uh, fill in this id by yourself and uh, if you have a second controller and a third controller and uh, many different controller so you just uh, have the replace the different id that will generate a different uh, topic so we can press it down and you can see when I deploy, uh, this is connected. And also I can double click uh, this state. Uh, this is the thing, this, the IP and the port and the password update and down and deploy. Uh, this I have placed the debug message. Uh, you can see this is the feedback because when I connect with the uh, MKD server, this will update all relay, uh, 32 relay, and the uh, input point. Uh, this is six input point, and uh, this is 32 relay output. All state will be uploaded. So we need to update the state. And uh, this is connected, and this is connected. This node is connected to the Moscow uh, block, uh, this one. And uh, this controller, uh, this controller also have connect with this broke so broke is a just like a server this broke can install in your computer or install on your cloud server or in anywhere just according to the ip and the port uh, so we have connected the three terminal then we can uh, place the inject uh, just this node inject we can test if we Turn on relay one and the turn off relay one. So we can double click the inject. We just choose the payload and input the content. Uh, this is by JSON format. So you can see relay one on zero. So if you want to control relay two, relay three, just change the number. And the on is zero, that means turn off. If the on is one, that means turn on. So this button is zero. That means this button, when you pressed, will turn off the relay one. And also we can double click this node, inject. Also is relay one, and this on is one. So this is turn on the relay one. So we can, we can press this two button. You can see the relay output on this LED indicate. When I press this button, uh, you can see this is relay one, it's on. And also it will be update uh, the 32 channel, the relay state. And I, when I press the key, this inject, uh, this payload is relay on zero, that is turn off. So turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. Uh, because every time we change the relay state, uh, this is by the node red. And maybe you will change the relay state by the wall switch or by wireless remote. So every relay changed will upload the 32 channel. And the six digital input, uh, this is the full sensor. Uh, this is six digital input state. So you will update on your website or on your application. And this is for our test inject. If you want to make a website, uh, like we can place this button, just use this node. Uh, this is for dashboard. We can just drag uh, this button. This is for off, uh, this is for on. We can double click. Uh, you can see this label is off. And this payload uh, is really one on zero just like this one. Uh, this is for the back and this is for end user to use. And also you can see this button is on. So you can see the label is on and the payload is relay one on and this is one. And uh, you just uh, uh, choose a group. Uh, this you can edit a group. This group you can create by your name and uh, uh, this you can create. I have already created the theme. Is you can use anything. Just you can uh, set the wise. Uh, the wise is six pixel on the website. Uh, you can choose 
large or small according to your actual website so we can deploy it and then we can click this dashboard and uh, click this button uh, open the web browser and you will see uh, this is a button uh, this is a, a group name uh, you can see this is a, this is the name and uh, the website the website on and off uh, the name also can change so we can press this on as you can see the button on is pressed as the relay one is on and this is the relay off i press the off the relay is off so you can set the whites uh, now we have set the fix six and then you can off on off on off on off on so this is for the web page uh, you can use this url or to visit the web web page uh, if you have you load a port forward function so that you can use any anyone in the internet uh, remote country you are really on and off uh, without use the cloud server so this is a, a demo for the relay country by mqtt thanks for watching